Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review, we are looking at the SV Action Miles Morales, which is actually a Sentinel figure. And this thing, it's it's one heck of a figure. I gotta say, I kinda wasn't paying attention to any of the Spider-Verse figures just cause I'm not in a, a huge fan of that kind of um, cartoonish art style. I know there's lots of cartoons. You know what I mean, like the exaggerated proportions, that kind of stuff. It just doesn't do anything for me, so I don't really care. But this thing is one heck of a figure. I wasn't following this at all. Um, Bluefin Rep sent this to me as a review sample, and so I'm very happy to re be reviewing it for you guys. I think if you weren't aware of this, you will be happy that you are now. It's a really, really good figure. Uh, there's a ton of stuff that comes in the box. There's a ton of stuff to like about it. There are a few things that are not great to like about it, but hey... Um, that's, that's gonna happen, we're gonna talk about it. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. Real quick, before we get into the review, guys, I have to talk about our sponsor of today's video. It's Into the AM. They're the graphic t-shirt people. They make wonderful products, so I'm happy to have them as a sponsor, and as long as they wanna keep doing it, as long as you guys keep telling me the products are great, I'm gonna be happy to have them on. So, they make all kinds of stuff, but the thing I really wanna focus on is the thing I always wanna focus on is the graphic tees. I love them, they look wonderful, they have really cool, clever designs that are just more fun than everybody wearing the same Spider-Man shirt or whatever. You know, I don't like to just blend in with everyone else. These shirts help me to stand out a little bit. They're super colorful, they fit really nice if you have the sort of athletic build to a very athletic build you should be great they are a more slender cut they make you look good i've been complimented many times wearing them anyway if you want to save some money i would recommend you use the link in the description below i would recommend you buy them even at full price when there's nothing going on but we do have the link so you might as well use it you can save some money that way you can also bundle up the graphic tees you can get three of them for a discount you can get three of the plain t-shirts for a discount or if you want to save even more money you can just do the subscription service get a random shirt every month even lower price but you don't get to pick it out so if you like all their designs go for that can't hurt uh, it's it's a wonderful brand i love the clothes they they hold up really well i wash them every time i wear them obviously and this one's probably been washed 10 times and it looks like new still even the ones i've worn like a whole bunch the older ones they still look great. They're wonderful. They're made well. Colors are bright still. They fit well. I can't say enough good things about them. You guys seem to like them a whole lot too. Everybody that comments on it seems to like them. So I'm happy to have them on as a sponsor and I'm happy to recommend them to you guys. So make sure you use the link in the description below. Get yourself some t-shirts and let me know which ones you order. This guy stands just about 13 and a half centimeters, which makes him pretty close to five and a quarter inches that's a that's about right i think that'll be fine let me grab a marvel legends figure real quick it's not spider-man but hey it'll do just so you guys can see the size i think that'll be fine for for this version of miles i think that's a good size if you're trying to compare the two or not compare but combine the two on a shelf i think you'll be okay before we get into the rest of the review though i do want to do a quick question of the day we'll do two of them one, as far as a Miles figure like this, where you have options, are you gonna display him in the full spider suit or are you gonna display him with the hoodie and shorts and sneakers? Because that's how I would display it, for sure. Uh, second thing is, I'm assuming you guys liked the Into the Spider-Verse movie, so I'm not asking if you like that. I'm asking if you like the particular art style from the movie with the really lanky bodies and the kind of like the Disney-esque proportions. Let me know how you guys feel about that. I already told you what I think about that in the beginning. It doesn't bother me, but it just doesn't do anything for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this. You're probably noticing right off the bat he has really wide hips and kind of a short neck and strange-shaped head. Some of that is due to the styling of the source material. Some of that is due to the figure. That would be a deal breaker for me if it wasn't for the shorts and the hoodie and whatnot, which we will be showing you in, in the review, so just wait for that. Uh, I do hate the way his hips are so wide, they are not supposed to look like that. That looks terrible. This looks like a girl, honestly. The way they've done the chest and the hips, it, it looks like a girl. Don't like that at all. Gonna get that out of the way right up front. However, it does pose well, and once you pose it, you don't notice that stuff, so that doesn't bother me as much. Uh, but also, I would definitely have all the clothes on him, and again, we'll get to that. And once you get the clothes on him, it looks amazing, so I'll, I'll leave it there. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what we have here. The whole figure is a nice matte to flat finish, which looks amazing, except for the eyes, which are kind of a satin. That looks good. The paint job on the chest is really clean. The red on the black, and then also the gray web lines. Same thing for the arms and the head. It's all incredibly well done. The hands do have that shading effect, which I do believe is actually from the movie, if I remember correctly, it was like that. The shoes on the other hand, I don't think they're supposed to be sloppy or shaded. So the red on the shoes, I think that's not good. But we do have the nice clean web lines and if you can ignore the shoes, then it's pretty good. 
it's a clean looking figure and there's some really cool stuff in the engineering that's what i care about most but the aesthetic is good enough other than those weird hips and things so what we're going to do is we're going to give it a rating as it is right now. I'll give it a seven out of 10. It could look a lot better, uh, but it looks good enough once you pose it, so that's fine. But we're gonna go ahead and swap on some of his accessories because we're gonna get into the accessories now and then do an aesthetic again. So we do have all of the gear we need to outfit him as not wearing um, the full Spider-Man costume. So we're gonna put that all on. Haven't done this before, so you're gonna see how it works as I do. We'll do the shorts, let's do the arms. We're going to talk about the engineering on the arms too, because I love it. And I love that they included this. Uh, PVC parts like these can shrink over time, just a little bit. So I'm glad that they left this barbell in here to keep the shoulders functional if the figure is not uh, used soon. Let's probably put the hoodie on. We should put the hoodie on. Okay. So like I said, I haven't done this before. You're seeing it for the first time as I'm doing it, and you'll see how difficult or easy or effective it is if I can get all these things on conveniently. Is that on? I can't tell if that's snapping on. There we go, I think it's on now. Okay. All right, so it looks like we're gonna run into one problem right there, which is the arms can't go down with the sculpted hoodie the way it is. Uh, I guess that's gonna have to be the way it is. We do get, uh, also, since we're doing accessories, so that obviously we have the hoodie and the sleeves and the shorts, we'll keep going. We do have this hood here, which can peg on. What plastic did they use? That's stiff. All right, so that can peg up like this. And that would be, I guess, probably not for the Spider-Man hood head. So we have that one. And then we also have this one, which is the one I would use no matter what, because down hoods look cooler. I think. So that can just tab in there. Now, like I said, we're gonna be talking about the aesthetic a little bit too, because obviously that's a factor here. I can't get it to peg in. There we go. Uh, I thought this was supposed to be a lot more red than it is, and it's got a little bit of orange to it rather than red. It's almost like a salmon color, which is not great for me. I would definitely prefer it look red, but it still looks cool. I like the sculpt of the hoodie. They did a good job with the detail work. It's pretty nice, I like it. They left pegs in here also for the hands. That's a good thing. Let's go ahead and just do the fist hands. I grabbed his legs, I'm trying to do fist hands. All right. And I'm guessing most people are gonna to wanna to leave him in the hoodie. Just a hunch. The hoodie look is way more interesting to me than the standard black Spider-Man look, the black suit. I mean, like the red's nice, I like the red combo, but black suit Spider-Man's been done. The hoodie look, although I guess hoodie look's been done too, huh? Oh well. All right, so we have his hands in there. There we go. It already looks so much better. Okay, let's get his legs done. We have these here, we have to pull out. And then we just take these lower legs. They pop off, everything's popping off pretty easy. Going back on, not as easy, but that's a good thing, I guess. I don't have any real problems so far. The shoulders were a little tricky, but we're getting there. Okay, so we're looking good so far. Now all we have to do is give him his shoes. And that should be coming off at the foot. You leave the ankle in place. All right, that's not so bad. No, you don't leave the ankle in place. Okay. So each foot has its own ankle joint. All right. And, oh, nice. Popped on pretty easy. I like that. All right, cool. So that was risky because I had no idea if this was gonna go smoothly or not. And it did really well, no problem at all. I do wish the arms could go down farther, but they definitely intend you to be posing him in a more dynamic way. So as far as his accessories go, his clothing accessories are awesome. I really, really like those, they look good. And if you put him in a dynamic pose, it's gonna be fine. You cannot drop his arms, obviously. So I don't like that at all, functionally speaking. But accessory-wise, that's awesome. Aesthetically, it's awesome. Other than, I'm pretty sure this should be a lot more red. But the shoes are really well done. It even includes alternate shoelaces so you can have the knots or have them untied. We're gonna leave those off for the review just because I don't wanna mangle them as I'm handling the figure. But that's a really cool feature. I'm very pleased that they included such a small detail. The hoodie's done well. I like that. We have two hoods, of course. 
that's cool so let's go ahead so now you have the aesthetic for that part let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the accessories we do get alternate heads so we have the winking kind of winking type head we do get the unmasked head those both look really good the unmasked head for me uh his left eye the one on the right of the screen is definitely too far centered so he looks like he's a little bit cross-eyed let me know if you guys have noticed that on yours if you already have this figure okay so we have the alternate heads as far as hands go we have the two fist hands then we have a whole bunch of other ones we have some gripping hands some relaxed hands some thwipping hands uh can hand holding a can of spray paint a uh, kind of relaxed hand for holding a phone uh, we have two wall crawling hands two kind of just style pose hands we do get a singular web thwip we do get the cell phone we get a mallet we get some headphones and we get a display stand, which is like a ton of stuff. Like I've heard some people say that this figure doesn't, it's not worth the price point. Like this is the same thing as a Mayfax figure. Uh, same cost, roughly like a hundred bucks, give or take. I've seen it as low as 80 and as high as 130, I think. Um, that's tons of accessories for the price point. Like a Mayfax figure has nothing compared to this. So I think this is an amazing batch of accessories. 10 out of 10 for accessories. That's a ton. Alternate body parts, hands, heads. Like all kinds of like holded, held, holded, wow, held accessories, holding accessories. I can't speak English anymore. It's lots of stuff. That's really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and do the articulation like this. Uh, I don't really need to show you the other legs, but I will. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll show you everything. Okay, so the head's on some ball pegs and the neck's on a ball peg and it moves around really well. The hood obviously gets in the way some because it's a plastic hood. There's not a lot they could have done about that. I wish I could... Get it to tab in a little bit better. Maybe that was it. But it still it still works pretty well. He can look up a little bit. The hood definitely gets in the way, though, looking down side to side. It's a very fluid movement. I like that. Now, the thing I wanted to talk about with the arms is the shoulders are just one giant ball peg. But the way they did it, the ball peg comes up from down here. So you can raise the arm up, no problem. It doesn't get in the way. There's no seam other than, obviously, around the shoulder. So there's no cutout or anything. It's really functional. This has popped off. That's kind of annoying. It's really, really functional for being just a basic, basic, um, basic joint. You get all the range you could want out of it. I like it. And you even get a bicep swivel built into it a little bit, not a ton, but enough. So that is one problem that you don't get a true bicep swivel, but you get a decent one. And I think, I think that's okay. It could be better, but I like how simple it is for swapping out the parts and that it is functional other than a bicep swivel. You do get the double jointed elbow, which works very nicely. No problems there. And the wrists are just a swivel. There's no ball hinge in there. I personally think that's okay because you have so many different hands. I think you'll be able to get done what you need, but it would be nice to have a little bit of extra versatility, but I think that's okay. Torso has really good range. It leans all the way forward using ball pegs. Double ball peg up here, single down here. Doesn't lean back as far as I might like, but it, obviously at the lower waist it does. Upper is not as much, but you still get really good range overall like tons tons of range side to side is good it rotates on both of them so you're gonna have no trouble posing his torso for the hips they go all the way out to the side uh, it's just a ball peg in each hip but then you also get motion separating the leg from the pants which is really nice i like that a whole bunch and the way they hit the joint is genius and i have to say you can believe me or not this is how i plan to design the uh, crotch piece for the baggy pants on uh, my action figure line so i'm particularly in favor of the way they did this this is just a piece of plastic that's connected to the crotch that just sticks in there it doesn't rotate or anything it just hides the opening when you do that and when you rotate the leg forward it's just still sitting inside there it's just a static piece that hides the articulation it works really nicely it's a super simple design but very well executed so the hips work wonderfully just a ball peg it's all you need goes all the way forward goes back a little bit out to the side you do get a thigh swivel and you get a full-on thigh swivel down here where you get this other ball peg that lets the legs move around as far as the knees are concerned that's about as much range as you could want and the pants are soft material too relatively so that's good really good knee knee range for the ankles it's a ball hinge um, it's got this kind of like connected to the sides of the ball hinge so you get the forward and back still and you can still rotate it around to get the ankle rocker though it is going to make the shoe look a little funky I wouldn't have done it that way personally but it, it works well enough so you get a nice ankle rocker there and I'll tell you how I would have done it in a second toe hinge is the way you do a toe hinge for the most part so that's pretty good I like that 
it'll be functional enough for a small figure like this. What they probably should have done is just left the shoe a solid piece here and just put a big old ball at the end of the ankle and that would have been a really, really effective and simple joint rather than this complex one. Uh, kind of like the way the SH figure Sora's ankles were. That's a really good design. This one's good enough. So in his clothes, everything but the arms coming straight down and the head being limited, it works really well. Uh, now we can go ahead and do a quick talk about these hips. They go out to the side pretty far, like that's fine, no problems there, going forward. Not as far, it's a little bit more limited. They go back a little bit and you get a little bit of thigh swivel. So they're gonna be fine. It poses well enough. I'll do some poses at the end with the clothes on and with the clothes off. It's no problem at all. And so these shoulders, I guess I'll just do it now. I'll just do it now. So the standard shoulders, it's just that one ball peg. And it looks wonderful from outside. There's no real issue there. Can't have fewer seams than that, so that's good. But you do get better than horizontal. They go straight down. You get your full rotation. It's a very nice design. This, these arms do have a bicep swivel, by the way, just the hoodie ones don't. But you don't even really need it because look how much range you get out of that shoulder ball. I keep telling everybody in my reviews, ball pegs are so much more useful than they get credit for because they're so simple, uh, but they work. If you do it right, you get really good range out of them. And this is a great example of that. Super functional. You get your bicep swivel, your double jointed elbow. These arms are obviously gonna work as well as any arm could ever work because they're so slender. And they did a good job with that. So I'm very, very happy. Um, there's really, I can't think of any problems with the articulation on this guy other than some limitation with the hoodie. I guess he could look up a little higher, but that's pretty good still. Yeah, his articulation is great. Um, 9.5 out of 10. We have a few issues with the lack of bicep swivel over here and the limitation in setting the arms down to the side, but it's otherwise it's excellent. So this figure really surprised me with how good it was. I, I'm very, very pleased with it. So okay, now this is a long review, so let's let me wrap it up. Uh, final verdict on this figure, 9.5. 9 out of 10. It's about as good a figure as you can get uh, with a budget. There are obviously a few issues here and there. I don't like the fact that he has weirdly big hips uh, without the pants on, but I personally don't care about that because he's not going to have um, the regular spider suit on for me. And once you pose it, it's not noticeable as much. Anyway, you'll see at the end here. But it's uh, it's got a few, a few flaws, but otherwise it's a really, really good release. I couldn't be happier that they sent it to me as a review sample. I didn't know they were sending it. He just said, hey, by the way, we're sending this. And I was like, all right, cool, thanks. I'll review it. I had no idea what it even was at the time. So I'm psyched. This is a really, really good figure. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. So yeah, nine point, whatever I said, out of 10. It's a really, really good one. Pick it up if you're into this at all. Uh, you'll be happy you did. If not, then why are you watching this review? But thanks for watching anyway. If you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about the figure. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. In the meantime, keep collecting.